This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Friday, March 5th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Happy Friday, everyone, and fair warning for the update today. I'm planning on plugging the topic of the sermon for Sunday. Every sermon preachers think is important, but some sermons are important for the congregation as a whole. They speak about the community and our commitments to each other. You know, we say often at Unitarian Church of Lincoln, I say often, that Unitarian Universalism is a covenantal faith, that we are defined not by what we believe, but by our commitments to each other. And about five years ago, this congregation passed a covenant of right relations that defined some of those commitments and talked about how we navigate them as a community. We do that in Unitarian Universalist churches to make manifest and tangible the theological truth that we know our lives as interconnected. We know that what happens to one of us matters to the community as a whole. And this last year that we've been through has been an, extra, an extended exercise in interdependence. Sometimes good and sometimes really, really hard. Everything from vaccines to mask wearings, mask wearing to the choice to keep our building closed after the governor of Nebraska allowed churches to open. All of that has been tied up in our understanding of implicit covenant. What are our commitments and responsibilities to each other and to the broader community. And at some point in the next year, we're going to face new challenges with how we think of interconnection. When we come back to worship together in person, what will our expectations of each other be? Will we expect those who can get vaccinated to do so? Will we continue to wear masks when we're together? What happens if we say that that's our commitment and then somebody in our community does not do that? The answer to those questions, I think, have to be based in our understanding of ourselves as a covenantal community, a group of people with commitments to each other who live those commitments every time that they gather. So more on that on Sunday and in the months to come. For now, enjoy the beautiful weather, enjoy maybe the beginning of spring, and I'll see you in a couple days.